In Europe it's called a lift, in Canada we call them elevators. I guess we're raised differently. I read that Bill Gates is vehemently against intermittent fasting. He doesn't support eating windows. Why do dwarves make great electricians? Because many hands make light work. Why is Peter Pan a terrible boxer? Because whenever he throws a punch, it never lands. Why are bacteria bad at math? They multiply by dividing. I used to be shampoo addicted. But now I'm clean. I dreamed I was invisible and I married an invisible woman. I'm not sure what we saw in each other. Our kids were nothing to look at either. I found out my baked potato was allergic to sour cream. It broke out in chives. Helium walks into a bar. The bartender says that he doesn't serve their kind. Helium leaves without reacting. Why did the TV fall in love with the remote at the first sight? Because the remote turned it on. So oxygen just went on a date with potassium. It went okay. I called the electric company to ask when my power would be back on. They said, currently. Most people enjoy a day off on the 4th of July. But not fire. Fire works in 4th of July. <laughs> Did you hear about the dinosaur that went to the Boston Tea Party? It was a T-Rex. <laughs> I once knew a guy with three feet. He bought all his shoes at yard sales. Every morning I move my herd of cattle through the vineyard out to the pasture. That's right, I heard it through the grapevine. I'm a trust fund baby. My parents trusted me to go fund myself. What do you call an antique clock that doesn't work? Timeless. What do you call a group of soldiers in a fortress beside a narrow body of water in the Star Wars established universe? Garrison Fjord. <laughs> Mount Rushmore formed a band, but one their members went solo and formed a new band. It's called Lincoln Park. <laughs> I have a fear of stairs. They're always up to something. <laughs> the herb sale is ending soon. Better get there quick, they're running low on time. <laughs> Why did the bicycle fell over? Because it was too tired. <laughs> what did the reluctant American proctologist say after his first day working in France? What a difference a B-Day makes. <laughs> I hate the wind. It just blows me away with how rude it can be. I'm Bob Jeffy. Stay tuned to the end of the episode for a bonus dad joke and some random thoughts from my friend Lorelai Stewart. We're on a mission to spread the laughs and groans, so please share these jokes with your family. Good night all. I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you. Hello everyone, did you know that you can join the hundreds of listeners who have submitted their own dad jokes through my voicemail? Please spread the laughs and groans and submit your own dad joke to our voicemail, with the best ones to be included in special fan episodes. Just leave your name, the city and state you live in, and your best dad joke. Call 978-393-1111.
1076. I'll repeat that number, it's 978 393 1076, or check the show notes page for the number. I look forward to hearing from you. The Daily Dad Jokes podcast is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for social media links and joke credits. It's hard to imagine the Titanic with a lisp. It's unthinkable. (laughs) Hi there, I'm Lorelai Stewart, friend of Bob's. Here are some random shower thoughts to contemplate throughout today. Many of the world's most creative and artistic people use their talents to develop advertising campaigns. You are an egg created the year your mother was born and a sperm from the year you were conceived. In police procedural shows a famous guest star is nearly always the guilty one. A birthday cake is a candlelit meal. Pickles are assumed to be cucumbers. Other pickled vegetables have to be explicitly named. Hope you enjoyed these. See you tomorrow.